Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. Today I'll be sharing some tips and tricks that help me pass my exams as well as get good grades for them. Hopefully they may be of use to you as well. Okay, diving into the first one. Always make notes on the chapter slash chapters that you'll be writing on. The process of taking down notes and highlighting important aspects of the chapter will better your understanding and remembering, especially over time as you accumulate all your notes. By mid-year or end-year, studying won't be as stressful as you'll just be simply revising your own work. Number two is to make use of the resources that you have available. Although the textbook is a solid source to study from, make use of PowerPoint presentations, YouTube videos, past papers, and other external resources such as articles, websites, or the internet as a whole. This will allow you to develop a broader sense of understanding as well as formulate strong opinions and views that will give you those full marks for your answers. Number three is to study effectively. I'm sure you've heard of the phrase, study smart and not hard. Well, it's true in many cases. It's not about how long you study for, it's about how you study. Do you read your notes or do you explain them to yourself out loud? Do you study for hours on end or do you use an effective way of studying that allows your brain to accumulate information and then process that very same information during a break period? For example, using the Pomodoro technique to study. Hello guys, so today I want to talk to you about one time management tip that completely changed my life and that is the Pomodoro Technique. So the Pomodoro Technique basically consists on setting a timer for 25 minutes to coordinate your study routine. That's the amount of time where your brain is at its most productive phase which helps reducing burnout and managing distractions. So all you have to do is choosing a task you'd like to get done and you can either use your planner, your to-do list or your bullet journal to write down those tasks setting a timer for 25 minutes and you can either use your phone or computer alarm or even a kitchen timer which was what was used for the original Pomodoro technique. During those 25 minutes you have to be focused and eliminate any distractions in order to manage through your task. Your goal is not to complete it but make the most out of the time available to get through it as fast as possible. And believe me, comparing to normal student timers which go from 45 minutes, 1 hour and a half, Setting timers for 25 minutes makes all tasks seem more manageable and easy to complete. When the alarm rings, stop doing whatever you're doing. You have just completed a full Pomodoro. Now you're able to make a 5 minute break before you start your next Pomodoro. Once you finish 4 Pomodoros, you can take a longer break, something that goes from 20 to 30 minutes. And what's great about the Pomodoro Technique is that it shows you that you can get a lot done in 25 minutes without feeling the need to plan study sessions that last for hours. In fact, one of the things that makes more people procrastinate is thinking that they need to sit down for hours surrounded by books. If you plan your study sessions with the Pomodoro Timer, you will get a lot out of the idle bits of time throughout the day where you think you need to get something done, but, but get the wrong idea that with only half an hour, there's no way you can accomplish anything at all. Number four is your study space. Going back to the previous points, the effectiveness of your studies is solely based on the environment around you, as well as how well you study under certain conditions. An example I would use is that I personally found myself studying most effectively and productively in the early hours of the morning when my study desk was clean and there was either jazz or a true crime podcast playing in the background. Everyone is different. Maybe you might like to study outside your room as you find it most effective or you might like to study only at night as you retain more information then. The overall message is to take an advantage of how you study and use it to your best advantage. The last message would be to definitely learn from your mistakes. Learning new things and ideas is a process and you're bound to make mistakes or fail along the way, but it's all part of the journey to success. It's up to you as to how you learn from yourself and what you do to better yourself from making those same mistakes again. Well, I think that's about it. A friendly reminder is to always go to your teacher for help, constructive criticism and motivation. Prioritize your well, mental well-being and to never compare yourself to other people as it will only ruin you mentally and emotionally.
well i hope everyone has a great day and i'll be seeing you soon